Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is DHCP and how it works. First, let's look at an example of TCP/IP network configuration. Using my Windows as an example, I start with Windows command prompt, type in ipconfig slash all, then hit enter. Here is my connection information assigned to my wireless adapter or NIC. This is my computer's physical address, IP address, subnet mask, lease obtained on Monday and lease expires on Wednesday. It means I can use this connection configuration credentials for two whole days. Here are more information. IP addresses of my default gateway, DHCP server, and DNS servers, which are useful for connecting the internet. How does my computer, or more specifically my wireless adapter, get this network connection information? The magic is DHCP. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, a protocol that allows a DHCP server to automatically set TCP IP network configuration for a client computer. Without DHCP, an IT guy would manually set up all these configuration values for my computer. The process of manual setup for a client computer is called static addressing. It is not difficult to imagine how tedious and inconvenient it is to connect a network without DHCP. Now let's see how DHCP works step by step. Step one: Whenever a client computer boots up. It broadcasts a DHCP discover message. It doesn't matter where the client computer is, in airport, at home, in a desert, or in the jungle. It would send this packet looking for a DHCP server. And the client has no idea if there's any DHCP server close by. Therefore, broadcast is the only way. You may notice the destination IP address is 255.255.255.255. DHCP discover packet simply says, "Hello, is there any DHCP server out there? I want to connect the internet." Step two. Suppose there's a DHCP server close by, and it hears the DHCP discover message. Then the DHCP server responds with a DHCP offer message. It is a broadcast UDP packet. It simply replies, "I hear you. I can lease." You this IP address and this subnet mask, so that you can connect to the local network, and also I tell you IP addresses of of default gateway, the DNS server, so that you can go to internet. They might be useful. Your lease is two days. Of course, you can renew the lease after two days. Something like this, and this is step two. Step three: The DHCP client, the computer, responds with DHCP request. It simply says, "I accept all this connection information, and I accept the lease term for two days. Thank you very much." Something like that. Step four, or final step. 
DHCP server replies with a DHCP ACK message. It's basically an acknowledgement packet. It simply says, OK, let's do this. You go ahead, use the network or internet, and I register your MAC address or other information in my DHCP database. And that's the whole DHCP process. In summary, DHCP is a dynamic way of giving a client computer network connection credentials. Communications between DHCP server and its clients are broadcast, UDP, not a TCP. The clients use port 68 and the server uses port 67. That's it. Last, I want you to try this. Start your window command prompt if you are a Windows user. Type in ipconfig forward slash release. Then reload or refresh your favorite browser to see what happens. No internet connection. Don't panic. Type in ipconfig forward slash renew, renew. Enter and then reload or refresh your browser and you will see the internet is back. ipconfig forward slash release simply terminates your lease and ipconfig slash renew would bring back your lease. You see, DHCP is quite simple and flexible. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.